Hi guys. So I was a little bit um, surprised by how the story was coming together at the end of the last video because I have so many videos, you guys, about lunar eclipses, not solar, but lunar. I have like five videos about lunar eclipses. And back in May of 2021, we have a few videos about the lunar eclipse. So I'm going to link one of those below, but it's all about the centaurs. The lunar eclipse and how the center centaurs are coming. Centaurs. Centaurs. What man on a horse? Man on a donkey? Mordecai on the king's horse? Mercury in his chariot? There's so many symbols related to the centaur, you guys. And I've been talking about it in the lunar eclipse since May of 2021. Okay, so back in May of 2021, there was a lunar eclipse in the constellation of Sagittarius, which is the centaur, you guys. It's also the bow and arrow, okay? That lunar eclipse back in May of 21 was passing over uh, Hawaii. Okay, so what I am seeing in this now, first of all, I'm seeing fiery darts. And what these fiery darts are going to do, you guys, if we see them in this lunar eclipse... What they're going to do is um, light your wick, okay? So this is why we are getting the wicked out right now. We're getting out the moral filth. We're getting out the gore. We're in Gethsemane, you guys. And we are supposed to be sweating out the blood, which means releasing the shadow, releasing the moral filth, releasing any negativity. Um, and what you're doing is releasing your wickedness, okay? But the word here is wick. Now, what this is, you guys, is you are growing your wick. You are supposed to be a candle. You're supposed to be a light. You are growing your wick. And what this means is when a um, grain, for in instance, okay, Barley, for instance, when it is ripe, you guys, it will grow its hair and the hair will turn white. It'll grow its hair and the hair will turn white. Like on a corn stalk, you guys, the silky hair of the corn. You're growing your hair if you are ripe. If you are ripe, what's going to happen when the rider on the donkey enters the gates of Jerusalem at the lunar eclipse? You're going to light your wick on fire, the wick of your lampstand. You are an oil lamp. Your oil lamp, this would be your anointing, okay? This would also be the star plasma rising to the top and you got a big star on top of your temple, um, the blood and the gore, the red blood cells sink to the bottom. If this is indeed this firestorm that I see, fire and ice, firestorm, um, clouds, dark clouds, meaning Jesus coming as a thief under the cover of clouds. As you saw him ascend, he comes in the co cover, he comes in like manner. So he comes back in some manner with clouds. Not every eye will see, not every eye will recognize this, okay? Okay, the archer right? The centaur, you guys. He's the archer. He's got the bow and arrow. 
And of course, arrow, the root word is arc. So who I see this for is the archangels, okay? Archangels, guys. Now, all of the angels that we speak about, first of all, every human being is an angel. So be careful to entertain strangers, okay? Every human being is an angel. Um, the language that we're talking about is archangels. And that would be anybody, uh, you know, Lucifer was an archangel, okay? Anybody that's um, just simply, truly going to be the arrow, meaning leading the way first, Jesus was the firstborn of many. There are other firstborn that are coming behind him and they are the point of the arrow and they are paving the way for other people behind them. That's all it is, okay? They're just kind of doing this first. Um, some, a lot of angels wanted to be firstborn, okay? Because there's, um, some benefits of that possibly. Okay. But some of them who made the wager and said, yeah, I'm going to bet the farm and risk it all like Job. Um, they placed their wager on the table and they lost the hand. Okay. So that's why I'm seeing this separation between the plasma part of your blood and the red blood cells part of your blood. Um, we've all been born of star seed, okay? So we learned this in The Greatest Story Never Told and in the Living Library uh, video from Galactic Mother that many, many conscious living beings were coming to this fertile garden to plant their seeds here, you guys. If, if you'd like to think of, I'm seeing a picture. Okay, many, many, seeds were planted here from um, many different stars, okay? We're just going to say stars because stars are conscious living beings. Stars produce elements. The elements in those stars are here on earth. Your group of elements um, leans heavily toward one star system, okay? That's a nice way to put it, okay? And this, you were planted here as a seed and there was some interference in the planting of the seeds. And that was by a certain star group, okay? What is happening is these stars that planted their seeds here are coming to check the egg. They're coming to check the egg, which are hatching, which are going to hatch, but they, they're shown to be undeveloped, which have matured and are ready. And the rest, you guys, the rest are going to be, um, it's almost as if seeded again to, oh, see, I'm seeing grafting. Um, so, you know the word scion? S C I O N. Okay, I'm seeing that idea. Okay, so uh, 
I'm getting, I'm getting this whole memory, jogging my memory here. Um, Okay, I don't know which event we're talking about now. Okay, so let's just transition and I'll tell you what the Spirit is saying to me. There, there was once upon a time, you guys, where I saw parallel universes, right? One universe was because man have, had taken of the forbidden fruit. Man had used nuclear power. And, and that forbidden fruit event reverberated through the time-space continuum all the way back to Genesis 1 and poisoned, I'm just going to say the waters because you need water to live. Every creature here on earth needs water to live, okay? So it had poisoned the waters all the way back to the beginning of our existence, okay? And therefore we have been under this curse in this dimension of the universe, okay? I had once seen that dimension of the universe go literally going up in it just dust, just it just disappeared. This vision I had of that lower universe. And suddenly, you guys, we realized that there's another dimension, another timeline where uh, another universe, a parallel dimension, you guys, where the curse didn't happen. The curse didn't happen. And so from the beginning, we, uh, we are able to maintain our innocence, maintain our innocence, not noxious, not poisonous. Uh, a parallel universe, I'm getting all this stuff. So what happened in the lower universe, guys, in the one that I saw going up in dust, just, you know, it, it, what there's, a, there's an idea behind this. It's a nu nuclear explosion. It's a volcanic eruption that just, and it just vaporizes. Okay. That one, it was seeded by, do you remember the greatest story never told? It was seeded by the serpent gods. Um, they came in, they were jealous of the vehicle because they wanted the ability um, that the human being was going to have. The human being was going to have the ability to fully contain the power and the knowledge of the gods in physical form in a world where we could experience physicality as gods. Um, and that that is our, as humans, that's our special specialty. And th this is why we are honored by all living creatures in the universe. It's because when the serpent came and I'm just going to say seeded and, and messed with the seeds, mingled the seeds, um, we decided to go with it. Okay messed with the seeds so that we were found lacking. We were we were incomplete. Something something essential was taken. Um because they wanted to harvest it for themselves. They harvested it too early. Here, now we're getting to it, guys. Now we're getting to the meat. Okay? They harvested it too early. I am so grateful. <sighs> okay, so this is a further explanation, guys. Okay, they harvested it too early. Guess what's happening? God is thwarting their plan. See, 
guys, there is on some level, the, the history, the memories that we have are us seeing the future. You know this. The mythology that we have, a lot of the mythology of the history is actually our future. And, and the seeds were planted in our memory banks as if they were past events, you guys. They're not. They're, they're, oh. Everybody planted their story here. Everybody planted their story here. Everybody planted their story here. This is crazy. This is crazy. And there are some who planted the story that humankind would remain um, uh, oppressed, subjective, oppressed, subjects of obviously a higher being and a higher force, then that's because the higher being planted his story in our DNA. It's in our Akashic records. It's in our history. We think it's in our history. What it actually is is a potential for a future event. And you are going to manifest what you believe to be true. And this is so, so, guys, on. It, it's a choose your freaking own adventure. It's the alternating currents that I'm seeing. Okay, so guys, there are many consciousnesses. There are many stories. We are the living library, you guys. We have every book on the shelf from A to Z. And every single book, you guys, contains a different story. Slightly different, some vastly different, all ends of the spectrum, okay? Some are in groups, categories, Dewey Decimal System. Some are in groups, fiction, young adult fiction. Some are in uh, historical fiction, some, okay? So you have your soul groups with you. And your stories are going to be similar. There are some that are vastly different, okay? On both ends of the spectrum here, okay? You are choosing. This is your valley of decision, you guys. You, every day, progressively, since your awakening, okay? You are choosing which path you are going to take. This is why, to me, it's so vitally important that you that you would focus on light. And that's only because I want to experience light. That's why I think it's so important for you. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. So listen to what is happening. This is what I feel is happening. The, the ones, we've talked about these gods before. There's creator gods, gardener gods, serpent gods, okay? It feels to me that a group of these gods is breaking through early. It is the serpent gods. It is. It is. They're breaking through early. And guess what they're going to find? they're going to find that their pods, okay, half of them are underdeveloped, okay? It, it's as if the story that they planted, the serpent gods, guys, was so toxic and poisonous that even if their fruit were able to ripen and mature, it, it it would backfire on them anyway. It would backfire on them anyway. You guys, I've seen this backfire. I've seen the backfire. It's the discharge. It's a backfire. It would backfire on them anyway because their, their uh, 
see the spirit is saying rotten again and corrupt. Okay. The storyline that they wanted to implant in the history, in the Akashic record, in the DNA was so corrupt and toxic that it, it bursts open on itself. Corruption means to rupture you guys. Toxic. It just, it's going to backfire on them anyway. They also have some seeds that <laughs> do you guys remember when I gave you that little riddle about Satan played God, God played Satan, and Satan played God, and God played Satan? It played, not character, playing them as if tricking them. Tricking. God is tricking the serpent. The serpent, that subtle serpent, tricked us with his story, guys. Yep, the tale of the serpent, T-A-L-E. Moses, who took up the tale of the serpent. Okay? God is also tricking the serpent, and this is what God did. You guys will remember this. He brought in Eve. It was our runner. It was our help meet. And he put it in the plasma of our veins. He put the plasma in our veins so that we would no longer be red man Adam, which is what the serpent was trying to produce. Red man Adam. Guys, anger. Guys, you know that Adam means red, right? I, I'm getting the answer to so many things right now, you guys. Do you remember that David, for instance, all throughout the Bible, there are people called um, fair. And the fair have the mixing of not only the red man, okay? Sardis, copper serpent, okay, guys? But they were given the seed unbeknownst to the serpent, right under the serpent's nose, that these eggs, the serpent's eggs, the serpent's seeds were fertilized by God, by the light, by the helpmeet, by Eve. Remember that there's kind of an idea of two females in the garden, Lilith and Eve. Okay. So we've talked about how there's not only two fathers, like your father, the devil, Jesus says, and your father, God, right? There's the, um, the idea of the mother Eve, who's the virgin and the wife and the true bloodline of the gods. And then there's the whore of Babylon, who is like Lilith. Guys, these are X and Y chromosomes that come from your parents. And this is on a spiritual level, okay? So there's four parents, just like you have four grandparents, okay? And th there's a mixing of their DNA, okay? And it's which, when the serpent comes to examine what he seeded here on planet Earth, He's going to see that some were his story was so corrupt that his seeds wouldn't uh, wouldn't even be viable. Okay, the other seeds have been implanted by the trick of God. Yeah, I, I'm getting the whole idea of how other creatures steal eggs from other creatures. Okay. And he, he fertilized the gods, the light gods fertilized with their own, right underneath the nose of the serpent. So that when they come out early, what a surprise it's going to be for the serpent. Because that child is going to turn on his own. What would have been his own
origin. Okay, it's surrogacy type thing, guys. What was mixed in the Petri dish, <laughs> the serpent didn't even know. What God came in and fixed that the serpent would have had for his own. So what we think is a historical story where it's also a future one. And it is time right now for the serpent to arrive early, to arrive early. We talked about this, you guys. Mother Earth wasn't fully developed. Um, humans weren't fully developed. And the serpent's coming back to check all of his seeds. These are the ones who are early. Early risers, guys. It's, it is the archangels. It is the fallen. Okay? Some of the fallen redeemed. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. And some of them not. Okay, so I, this is what I feel like now. Everybody now, and, and this is told in the story of our um, lunar eclipse previously back in May of 2021. I didn't know what I was saying back then, but it's all in there. There is an, a, a mother, and it is Eve, you guys, because Eve means the mother of all living. And what she's going to do is she's going to adopt all of these children back to herself, meaning every living creature on earth, okay? I don't know if the red ones, the corrupt, ruptured ones are included or not, okay? And it's like a cleansing and a reseeding, reseeding. You know how we were told um, that there's a temporary reset, reboot, rewind the clock and all of that? This will take everybody back to Genesis 1-1 when the curse, the serpent, is not involved at all. Except that the viable seed that God came in and did his own thing with the serpent's seed, it gave them the chance through the Christ to... Um, to hatch perfectly ripe anyway. Early, first born early, but perfectly ripe anyway. Those, because they had been to the deepest depths of corruption, darkness, fallen angels, toxicity, poison, Lucifer, because they had been there, um, they have the full volume of the library now. Okay, and so in that, there's a special anointing in that. I, I had no idea we were going this way. I hope it made sense to you. I was getting all of this information as I was speaking to you guys. Okay. So let me sit with it and I will come back to you tomorrow. I don't want this to be longer than 30 minutes because I'm afraid it won't upload. I will sit on it and I will see if I can be more cohesive in tomorrow's video. Thanks for watching.